Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't see there. Just playing with my friends. Excalibur! That almost killed Santa Claus and Violet Knight. Not mine, friends. Excalibur, rotating barrel, grand power. Okay, just thinking about how awesome Federal Ammo is and giving you real organic gel data I've gotten from Federal Chris Locke. Uh, some spear data as well, and um, and some other sources. But I've compiled a ton of data that uh, mostly most of these other people do not have, including brand new 25 ACP Punch and brand new 32 ACP Hydroshock Deep from these little tiny old pocket pistols. Grandma can now defend herself if you buy her the best ammo, okay? So you're going to want to hear this. You're also going to want 327 Federal Magnum HST and Gold Dot results. 357 HST, which I've tested results. Uh, I'll show you my recovered bullets later. 9mm, 124 grain punch from a short Glock 43. I tested it from a 3.2 inch smaller Micro 9. Still performed amazing. For a budget buy in a big box store, you want the punch, baby. Especially in shorter than three and a half inch barrels. It will perform great otherwise. But I mean, nine millimeter from shorter than three and a half inch barrels, you want an HST or a punch. I've been saying it for years. That's before Federal hooked me up with one box of ammo. I hope they do more. Federal, that would be awesome. Like, you know, quarterly. Uh, but anyway, um, or at least, you know, birthday and Christmas. Uh, current production, 147 grain HST. Which, yes, they have changed. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, that's from the new Glock 47. And um, 380 Hydroshock Deep. 38 Plus P Hydroshock Deep, which was the first ballistics test I did. Meat and bone target ballistics. And now doing my modern meat target test. I believe my tests are very, very hard. And they correlate amazingly well to all the organic gel data I get from Federal and old Vista data, Federal and Spear, and the old data I found on Winchester. I correlate everything. My penetration numbers and uh, are spot on. My expansion is probably pretty dang close if I could be patient enough to measure them all max and min and average them and all that. Amazing performance. Um, so I'm going to give you the data. It's going to be a dry one. But this is data not everyone else has. And I'm going to show you some of the bullets. And please look at my meat and bone target and my modern meat target testing. The first modern meat target test is going live right now. It's starting to get gain some attention. Hopefully people like that and it might be something I could continue in the future. Um, and it would be great to test new rounds, maybe new calibers. I haven't gotten another 327, but it is an amazing caliber as I'm going to show you. Okay, so give you a quick look-see. 25 ACP, the brand new punch, 45 grain punch, 13.2 inches of bear gel penetration. I'm only, always going to give you bear gel and then heavy closer. 0.251, it doesn't expand. It's not me to expand. You only have 25 ACP, a little pocket pistol. Um, you know, there's multi-millions of those around the world. Your grandma's got them stashed in drawers. Uh, you a little baby browning here and there and that kind of thing. Okay. 11 inches heavy clothing. So, heavy clothing, 11 inches, 13.2 bear gel. Results in real-world shootings are often just like heavy clothing, in my opinion, and Chris Locks, or often somewhere in between the bear and the heavy. So, I like to just kind of split that bear and the heavy and look at just the heavy. And if it does good in the split, 50-50 between them, and it does good in the heavy, it's going to be good to go. It's going to be good to go. Would I go down on a 25? I ain't saying that. But I'm saying if that's what you were carrying and that's what you had, knowing that I get between 11 and 13.2 inches of penetration and somewhere probably in between there, you know, like a good 12.2 inches, good enough to poke a hole here or better yet, a couple in here. 32 ACP. Now this to me is a bit of a game changer. Hydroshock Deep in general has blown my mind because I'm a guy who badmouthed 380 for years, honestly. Badmouth 380 for years. And nowadays, as long as it's Hydroshock Deep, 38 snubs that were questionable, 38 snubs, 380 that I always thought were highly questionable, and now even 32. Looking at the best real organic gel testing. Organic gel, not clear ballistics. Earlier videos of Chris Locke. At most, clear ballistics is 70% correlation. My correlation is probably plus or minus 5% of both penetration. Probably plus or minus 
way better. I probably doubled, probably two and a half percent, but probably plus or minus. Right now, my first one's exact. Five in percent of penetration correlation and maybe seven and a half percent. Let's throw that out there on expansion versus clear ballistics, which is only 70 percent correlation and way, way more penetration and less expansion than real shooting recovered bullets. Real performance as well as organic gel because those two obviously relate, which I've given you data on before. OK, so I digress. 32 ACP, 68 grain hydrostatic deep from a Tomcat, so only 830 feet per second, 10 inches of penetration bear gel with 433 expansion, 10 and a quarter penetration heavy clothing, 0.429 expansion. So I'm getting 10 to 10 and a quarter, 0.43. I'm turning a 32 ACP uh, into 43 diameter. That's nothing to sneeze at even from a little Tomcat, and it's probably even better giving the Hydroshock Deep already expands and it's controlled. It doesn't keep getting bigger and then fall apart. It doesn't do any of those weird things. Hydroshock Deep design peels the pedals back, and even on the longer barrel, just keeps trucking. Just keeps trucking barrel. Baby, it's already expanded. That's the 38 from a 2-inch. Um, so, like, a, you know, bright 81 BB, beautiful pistol, uh, or even a PPKS. That's better in 32 than 380, less recoil, less tearing your hands up. Like a 32 that are, was all around the world, and now a 32, according to Archer, without your shot deep, I'm quoting Archer now, definitely, you know, <laughs> nothing to sneeze at. Uh, 7 plus 1 rounds or 8 plus 1 rounds at 32. Okay. 327 Federal Magnum Gold Dot 115 grain. This isn't directly from Chris Lock, but the, the Gold Dot I, data I got from an old LE pamphlet uh, and all the barrier performance as well. Amazing. 327 Gold Dot 115 grain from SP101. I'm assuming that's a typical two and a quarter inch barrel. 1163 feet per second, 474 muzzle energy, 1475 penetration, bear gel, 0.627 expansion. Wow. Uh, I mean, it started as 312, and it's at 627. Heavy clothing, 18 and a half inch penetration, 525. 327 doesn't suck. Let me prove it to you more, because I'm going to give you the HST data. 327 HST, 104 grain from a snub. I don't know the exact barrel length. From a snub, I'm going to guess. Uh, I shouldn't guess. Okay, snub, 12, 25 feet per second, 347 muzzle energy. 12.2 inches penetration bear gel, 0.681 expansion, 0.681 expansion. That's like 2.2 times or so from 312 in my head right now. 2.25, maybe. I mean, it's crazy. That's crazy expansion from a smarting little keep you through one too. Okay. 14 and a half inches penetration in heavy clothing with 0.546 expansion. That's from a snub. So if I was like my buddy Gun Sam, and I was carrying a little LCR 1.9 inch snub 327 or a 2 inch uh, Taurus 327. Uh, I'm going to rock that HST, baby. Now, it's going to be heavy recoiling, but I'm going to rock that HST and it's going to be awesome. How awesome would it be from a, the new 3 inch Taurus uh, Toro, 327 Toro? I've thought about getting it. I might request one from Taurus in the future if Federal is willing to maybe help me out with some ammo. The 327 Gold Dot, 327 HST, 32 HR Magnum 85 grain. I am trying to get that data from Chris Locke at some point. I would really like that 32 85 grain defense uh, round data because I think it's awesome and very low recoil. Like perfect for, you know, I, I have lupus and arthritis in my hands some days. And as I age, like, you know, and older people and disabled people like me, um, 32 H and R probably is pretty amazing with that federal load as well. Um, from a four inch, 327 HST from a four inch, 1450 feet per second, 485 muzzle energy. That's 11.7 inches of penetration, bear gel with 0.683 expansion. And uh, in heavy clothing, 12.7, 0 0.609. So what I'm saying is, the recoil is probably not bad in that 327 with a three inch that the Toro um, or Taurus model 327 with a three inch barrel steel frame. I'm betting I could rock bill drills all a zone at least dark pin pass is what I think I could do with this HST 
Um, and three inch ballistics are usually maybe in a Magnum cartridge, about, only about 7% less. It's so much more than a two inch or one and seven eighth, eighths inch, uh, but it's almost a four inch. Three inch ballistics carry is friggin' awesome. Three inch is the best revolver carry as you see my clutch in. Okay, um, I would rock that bad boy. So 1450, 485 probably becomes 1370, you know, 435 muzzle energy with over 12 inches of penetration, real world, and we're looking at somewhere between 60 and 67-ish expansion from 3-inch barrel. 64. That's huge. Um, that's a lot of tissue crush. That's a lot of muzzle energy. That's a lot of E15, EKE. That's a lot of energy deposit in the first 5.9 inches, 15 centimeters of the body. Just saying, maybe people have nerves. Okay. 357 HST. 357 HST. 150 four grand right here sorry my black marker my big black marker i lost it at the range sorry 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 357 hst 150 four grand from a snub 1080 feet per second 399 muzzle energy 14.8 penetration bear gel with 657 expansion oh my god 16 inch penetration uh, heavy clothing 565 i should say it the other way i'm sorry heavy clothing 16 inch penetration 565 and look at my test not only did I do FBI heavy clothing, four different types of layers, I did heavy winter clothing, four layer denim, plus two t-shirt, and double medium density fiberboard like a hard, big, thick guy like me, sternum, or animal for animal defense, in case you had to worry about both two-legged and four-legged, fired for my three-inch GP-101. Look at my meat and bone 357 HST test, and my accuracy test, this for Hydroshock and other 357 rounds as well. Um, I'm in the South. I don't have to worry about animal defense. Uh, but if I was up in Alaska worried about meth heads and cocaine bears, you got to worry about them both around Anchorage or wherever, you know, something like that. I'm just saying, it'd be funny. Um, but realistically, that would be probably a very good round to have a look at my very hard test I did on it. Look at that expansion. Okay. And uh, from a four inch, 1250 feet per second, 15 and a half inch penetration. Bear Joe. 0.648 expansion and heavy clothing, 16 inches penetration with 534 muzzle energy from a 4 inch, 16 inches of penetration, heavy clothing, and 587 expansion. So you just saw it. I tested it. This isn't BS. This is the data from Chris Locke. And uh, oh my God, is that awesome? Okay, let's look at 9 millimeter from a Glock 43, 124 grain punch. The best budget ish big box store bullet you can find. They tested it from a Glock 43 3.41 inch barrel. I tested it from a 3.2. Look at my test. Um, and then in Bear Jaw got 13.1 inches of penetration, 0.634 expansion. In heavy clothing, 13.4 penetration, 0.614 expansion. For a budget ish round you could find in big box stores, run a box through your gun, make sure it's reliable, and you know, load up the mag with what's left over the second box. Um, <laughs> that really can't be beat, especially for the money. Um, though I do think I got a little more expansion from the HST. I think the punch, it feels punchier too. Uh, in a GX4 carry video I just did, I did accuracy with them as well. So you might want to check that out. Um, HST 124, uh, awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. I don't have new data on this because I do think it penetrates farther. This is new batch. And expands a little bit less. I think it's two kind of lure verse one, which leads us into the next one. A lot of law enforcement is interested in the real data, modern data on the 147 HST. I'm not a big fan of 147s other than the HST. Okay, I like 124 plus P, but you know, I'm still looking at more data about that just because HST is so good, especially from the long barrels. Um, but for forms and short barrels too, because HST does HST things, and I keep proving it the more modern meat target test I do. Okay. So, uh, 147 current from a Glock 47. I believe the difference is, uh, Chris Locke hasn't confirmed this yet. I think all the nine millimeter HSTs got the two kind of lure of this one. I don't know if 40 and 45, if the demand was there to ever change it because they had the mass to get deep anyway. Okay. They had the momentum anyway. Um, so I don't know that, but 147 HST, it does, uh, look like it's, Penetrating, yeah, and heavy clothing. This is farther than the old data on Vista's LE site. So no one has this yet. From a 4.49 inch Glock 47, I'm sure that's for LE department's request. 
Paragel, 13 and a half penetration, 0.691 expansion. Heavy clothing, 14.6 penetration, 0 0.605. Where I was a fan of Gold Dot and certainly NYPD and many, many, many departments around the world, pick 124 plus P Gold Dot. I do wonder, maybe it's a little bit cheaper in bulk. I don't know. Chris Lock, I don't know. Um, maybe they're changing to 147 HST, especially now that you got this heavy clothing. And I assume in the barrier performance, they're getting even a little bit deeper by adding that. I believe this is by adding a second kind of lure to hold that almost bonded, let's say almost bonded bullet together. It's not chemically bonded like a gold dot, but anyway. All right, 380 Hydroshock deep data. I found Chris Lock isn't my source on this, but other websites, multiple reported this data from Chris Locks. So, uh, it's good to go. Okay. 380 Hydroshock Deep 99 grain. 13 inches penetration, bear gel, 496 expansion. Heavy clothing, 13 and a half inches penetration, 0.514 expansion. Ethan Crow. People think, well, you know, once gold dots and eventually HSTs came out, bullet design didn't get better. Chris Locke and others at Federal have obviously been working their ass off with Punch and Hydroshock Deep because I made a lot of videos pretty much saying these are the best choices at the time, like XTPs and a few others. Best choices in 380. That is not the true. It's just not. Looking at this data where you get 13 or 13 and a half inches of penetration and 0 0.5, 0 0.51 expansion with 380 means... Especially with modern stuff that has come out, um, like I bet I could totally rapid fire control the Ruger, what's the bigger one, Security 380, the Ruger Security 380, or even a P365 380, something that isn't blowback 380 recoil, but actually browning tilting barrel to absorb the recoil 380s, and there's a few of them and a few more coming on the market uh, right now. Um, with a high capacity magazine, and they're all going 13, 13 and a half inches of penetration and expanding and expanding. I just shot deep is changing the game. Changing the game in 38 special. I would never carry a snub. Now, I'm not totally against it, right? 38 had to shot deep, 130 plus P from only a 1.875 little bit of J frame barrel. Maybe an LCR. No, I think LCR is 1.9 and J frames 1.875. Let me know in the comments below about being. Specific like me on the spectrum, probably you know, Asperger's, even though they don't do that anymore. But I'm gonna go on a Asperger -y tangent, okay? Uh, I hope that doesn't offend anyone. I work with autistic kids, okay? 13 point W besides being armed security. Um, has your shot deep 13.2 inches penetration from us from the short barrel, 13.2 inches bear gel, 0. 0.551 expansion from. Uh, heavy clothing, 13.4 inches penetration, 0.548 expansion. It's already friggin' expanded, as I showed you earlier. And where a lot of other bullets that you might get good-ish from a short barrel, good-ish, like 11 inches of penetration going off real Winchester Ranger 130 plus P data. So that compares really well. They're both 130 plus P's. 11 inches with big expansion. I have no idea what that what what that bullet does from a four inch, but this just keeps on trucking. It's already expanded. It just keeps on trucking. It doesn't fragment. It doesn't. It just, it just goes, baby goes. From a four inch bear gel, fourteen point six inches penetration, point five eight four expansion. So yes, more expansion. Somehow it peels back just a little. I guess that jacket's going to peel down just a little bit, like I see on one side right there, and. Uh, Heavy clothing, 16.1 inches, 0.562. Okay, let's look at the heavy clothing from the short barrel again and from the long barrel. 13.4 heavy clothing, short barrel, 5.48. Not a lot of 9 millimeters are going to do that, even from a short barrel, until you go to HST or punch. Not all, again, a, a lot of 9 millimeters are not going to fully uniformly expand from a short barrel and do what a 38 does from a J-frame, less than 2-inch barrel. So 38 also just, Hydroshock Deep is upping the game of 32, 380, uh, and 38 special. From a 4-inch barrel, let's look at the heavy clothing again, 16.1 and 5.62. 16.1 and 
16.1 and 5.62. That means even those, and there's a few of them, and mostly in the safes. I've worked at a security company that had four uh, old Taurus 82s in a safe. Four inch barrel, 38 special, all security companies used forever. You load them with this, and at least it's six good rounds of something that's going to go deep, even through barriers, and do all the good stuff. Uh, Gunsam also shot the sewer windshield. Another reason why this is my carry round for a snub. So I know this was super, super long and isn't going to get any views, and that's very, very sad. Uh, but anyone that managed to stay with me, like, share, subscribe, get in the comments, let me know. Does this impress you, especially the Hydrostock Deep stuff? Or 327? If you have a 327, please let me know. Can you rock it better than a 357? We actually carry with 327 Magnums, like the HST. Or, um, you know, do you download to like that 32 H&R on Chris Lock? If you can give me that Federal, that 85 grain, especially with like the new Ultimate Carry coming out and stuff and the 327 Toro from Taurus, I'm going to rock that HSTs. I would friggin' rock at 327 HST. Six shot of this HST giving me almost the four inch barrel performance. Um, <laughs> that's a friggin' good carry gun. Okay, if you're comfortable, if you're in a lower threat area where you're comfortable with a six rounds and carrying a New York reload, hopefully. Um, anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe. Let me know uh, down there in the comments. Hopefully you, you like getting real data. I wish there was more ballistics nerds in the world. Kaboom.